Okay. Hey Pam. How are you? Looks like I get to compete with Reed Timmer. Oh boy. <laughs> so, uh, hey, good evening, everyone. We've got about four minutes before I get started. Want to make sure people get time to pop in. <clears throat> if I lose my voice, so sorry. I've been sick. I was sick in bed day before yesterday. 101 fever. I don't have COVID. Just a cold or a sinus infection or something. Oh, massage. Ugh, I hate massages. I'm one of those weird people. I don't like people to touch me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pam. Yeah, so it all got started with allergies. And then my sinuses decided to go ahead and get themselves infected right along with my ear. So, yay. <laughs> They're not, not, allergies aren't so innocent. So yesterday on um, Pulling Snobs Club, Nancy put out a challenge to do a rainbow, like she put this picture of a pillow, and I got quite literal with it, and so I wanted to show you how I did it, and then I have a, I have a plan. So I did pre-do some things, because sometimes those things just take a long time, and I don't like to take more than an hour. I couldn't understand the fever. Hi, Melissa. I was like, why do I have 101, 102 fever? This is ridiculous. And then I got freaked out. And I'm like, Mike, get the COVID tests. So, yeah, it was negative. <laughs> um, tonight, we're going to be, I'll show you um, some of the backgrounds that I've done, I pre-did. I'm going to show you how to do this one. And I do it on a bit of a larger piece of watercolor paper. This one, I cut the paper down to the size I need because I didn't want to miss any of my colors. Because, you know, if I chomp this down, I'm going to lose color. Um, but these are all done with Simon Hurley inks. Um, oops. Cool do something with that just kind of and I'm going to show you how I do them and then we are going to play around with this Catherine Puller die now I'm sorry if I mix them up this one is either cross your cross your X's cover plate or I got them in the wrong packages and this one's stitch your diamonds I think this one's stitch your diamonds I think I have them in the right packaging sinuses yeah so if i peter out on you guys i'm just not a hundred percent but um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set this up here and i am going to get out my gel plate i like to do this type of watercolor on a gel plate and i'll show you why because I don't have one of those boards things. Um, you know, that you tape your stuff down to. I just never invested in one. It's too much work. This is so much easier. So make sure I'm in frame here. And grab some watercolor paper. And I'm going to grab my... These are Simon Hurley. They're re-inkers. And I just keep them in one of these alcohol ink things. It's just a handy way to keep them. And then I keep them labeled over here. You see, I have some problems with my game over, but it's okay. Let's see here. Let me just move the camera a little. There we go. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I know. I missed two days of work. I hate missing work not. I'm so ready to retire. <laughs> We're working on it, we're working on it. This is just some plain old watercolor paper that I cut down. And what I like to do, and I'm just gonna close this for a second, is I'm gonna be working on the smooth side. I like to get the rough side really, really wet. Dripping wet. And lay it down, and then get the top side dripping wet. And what this does 
because it forces that paper to lay flat when you're uh, painting over it. Keeps it from curling. And so, let me, I just washed all my brushes. Let me get out a brush here. These are all soft and wet, but I might use them. Sometimes I like to switch out brushes. I'm just using a soft brush. And I like to start with my yellows. Why? Because they're the ones that tend to want to mix in and get messed up the fastest. So I'm going to start in with Shooting Star, and all I'm going to do is just paint a line. And you see, since my paper's so wet, my color's bleeding in. I don't mind that so much, but I'm going to dab some of it off. And that's the beauty of having it wet, is you can do that. Okay. So this is Shooting Star. Then I'm going to go in with Over the Moon. I'm not even going to clean my brush. And I'm just going to make a line here. And all it is is just simple, simple lines. Some spots can be darker. Okay, so we got our Shooting Star. Now I'm going to go in with Guppy. See how that bleeds in? It's so cool. I love it when it does that. Okay, and then we're going to go in with Bee Sting. So you see, I don't really have to dip my brush or clean my brush in between because I'm going in the same color family. And then I go in with Love Struck. So I have all the Simon Hurley inks, of course. And if my paper starts getting dry, I'll just get it wet again with another brush. I'm not wanting to keep my paper wet. Oh, I love it when it does that. Isn't that cool? Okay, then we're going to go in with Game Over. Berry. This does lighten up a bit as it dries. Okay, crown me. Hi, Meg. Hi, Cheryl. Um, where's crown me? Crown me, it's here. Then we'll go with Midnight Snack. So I am just going rainbow order and making lines. There couldn't be anything simpler and more beautiful than a rainbow. No diving. So now I'm gonna be going into the lighter blue. So at this point, I'm gonna clean my brush. Be careful. And I'm going to go in with clear skies. And I'm not wanting that purple to pull up right there because I'll be going into greens. Go in with remember me. Okay. And we'll go in with tropical tango. And I'm gonna kind of wipe, just kind of wipe my brush. I go in with overzealous. No, no, no. Sorry, my bad. Fake plant. Later, Gator. Overzealous. Psych. And we're at the end. So you see how the water just kind of makes it run really cool. And 
and I'm not going to dry that. Now you can spray it with more water, but since I laid it flat, really, really wet onto this gel plate, it didn't curl up on me. So I'm going to just leave it on the gel plate and set it aside to dry. I'll, now you're not supposed to set your gel plate on something like that. Let me get a... We'll set this aside to dry and then go to work on... I don't want it to do that. Just brush it away. A clean brush. And we'll work on what we were going to do. Hi, Cordelia. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. We can talk to you. Well, at least you can listen to me talk. <laughs> so what I here's what I have in mind. Since I made these last night, I'm going to I'm going to make a cool shaker card. And let me just move this actually somewhere completely else to dry. And so I've got one that I did last night. And then I've got this die cut and what I've already done is I pre-cut four black pieces. And what I do is I cut out the black piece. Oops, I got wet on there, that's okay. And then I put double-sided sticky tape on them. And this is from a big roll that I got at scrapbook.com. And then when I say big, I mean big, gigantic. <laughs> hey, Mac. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of the black ones I'll do on camera. And I've already done these. These are four of them. I've stuck them together because they're going to be our well for our shaker card. That's right, folks. We're going to make a com compartmental shaker card. I'm looking for my pokey tool. I don't need it just yet, but I'm going to get out my die. And these are cover plate dies, by the way. And I want to make sure that this is centered in here. I could have probably cut them a little bigger. So, but I have to, then I have to be more sensitive that they're completely centered. So I'll take my mint tape. You can't, this mint tape will not stick to this stuff. It just won't. So I'm just going to take and lay it right here on my die and then push it in because I don't want my die moving on me during cutting. Just checking it for placement and I'll send that. Hi, Mike. I'll send that through the machine. And I am using my Chrome Precision cutting plate for this. I am putting it on an angle and I am going back and forth. So. Um, just to make sure it cuts through that tape because it's kind of thick. So since I did back and forth, these will pop out very easily. thing is when you do back and forth this mint tape likes to stick to the die I mean it comes off but you kind of have to fight it and I hate fighting it but you want it off of there because you don't want a bunch of multi levels left over on your die there we go oh yeah don't forget live chat <laughs> I'm just gonna pop all these out and I have a bunch of them because remember I cut four already. So if I ever want to make a bunch of diamond black diamonds, I've got them. And I'm just going to pop this out of the corner here. It's easy to grab once you're there, once it's kind of open. It's a very good cover plate die. What the heck is that rattling noise? Huh. 
something's going on outside making a bunch of rattling. So what I like to do is, is um, see the reason I'm using this instead of glue is because notoriously, especially when I'm using black or gold or metallic cardstock, glue gets all over it and it's a mess. I don't care if it dries clear, it still dries with a texture other than the texture you're working with. But I am gonna use a little bit of glue. And where did I put my dang glue? There it is. I tried to have myself together here before I did this live. I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue and I'm just gonna run it along this top edge. Just a little bit like that. And also it's difficult to line this up because that stuff's so slippery. But I'm gonna line it up best I can, just kind of hanging on. And then I'll press down at the top only. And since I have that little bit of glue on there, I have a little bit of wiggle room to move it around if I need to. And the tops are going to be a little uneven because I, um, because these black pieces were cut a little bit too small. And then I'm just going to come in and pull off this backer little bit at a time, making sure everything's kind of nice and straight and even here. Okay, so now we've got a pretty good sized channel going here. So my thinking is, is that I'm either gonna lay this directly on the rainbow or I could get a twofer. And the way I can do that is I can cut this out and um, I can use the other part of it for another card. So I can go that way and we'll just glue these pieces in. I wanna make sure I get as much of the color as I can in there and that's what I was talking about doing a smaller one because you lose some of your color okay let me get this cut out and I don't have any glue any sticky backer on that one so I only need to go through once So I'm gonna poke these through right where they sit. So I have them in order. Holes are big enough to just poke with your finger too, which is cool. everybody that's everybody okay then we can take this off then we have this whole piece to use for another card hey Sherry all right so what I need here now is I need a piece of just regular white card stock uh -oh. I'm trying to find the stock regular white card Hush, Siri, I didn't ask for you. And it's okay if it's a little bit bigger, I can trim it down. And I'm gonna take the sticky backer off of here. Oh, I just noticed I still had a piece of, because I used parts of tape. Here, get that off of there. Oh, now watch, I'm going to get a sticky mess here going. Me and tape. There we go. I'm just going to stick this down on here. It's a lot easier to do it that way than try and trim it. Ugh. All right. Got all my little guys in place. Got my glue. I'm just going to start at the bottom and work my way up. I 
And I use my little wax pencil to pick them up. Yep. Or my fingers. And they might be stubborn going in. So you can just take your pokey tool and poke in. And the reason they're stubborn is because I didn't, you know, I couldn't get these all just perfectly square in here. But they'll go, they fit, they just have to go past the layers. There we go. Hi, Jim. I need something softer to be poking in there. Here we go. That'll work. Okay, we're getting there. A little bit of a process. I could have, like I said, I could have saved myself a lot of work and just laid it right on top of there. But then I'd be wasting a lot of cardstock. Or in my case, watercolor paper. So we're not going to put, you know, thick sequins or anything in here. We're just going to put minimal amounts, but each channel will have some. Anybody watch Simon's live today? I did. Got some cool stuff. I ended up getting the um, the mermaid maker stencil set, the diamond stencil set, and the owl. Oh my gosh, that owl. All of them, they were so adorable. Okay. Having the right tools here. And I can't wait to paint that owl with lunar paste. That's exactly what I saw when I saw that owl. Okay. The G word. I, I mean, you could put glitter in them. But the, the reason I wouldn't want to is because in case there's anything sticky here, I mean, I don't feel anything sticky, but I, I wouldn't want to, unless I, well, you know what? I have some chunky glitter that'll work good. good great idea, Pam. <laughs> oh, y'all, I can barely breathe. This is so stupid. I've been taking Sudafed, which I shouldn't take because I have high blood pressure, but man, I'm suffering. What can I say? <sighs> yeah. 
Even Mike's bored. I can hear him down there yapping on the phone. <laughs> You guys are quiet tonight. What's up? Did y'all disappear on me? I've been watching Ozark. Oh my gosh. I just, I'm on uh, season three now. That thing is outrageous. I can't even believe little, little Jason Bateman, who was always Mr. Comedy, innocent guy, being a money launderer. <laughs> Almost there, y'all. We almost got our diamonds in. And the reason I did these in black, because it's gold is going on top, right? But the reason I did them in black is they just, I don't know, they give it just a, a touch out of coolness. I don't know, dimension. Not like it, five layers isn't dimension, but... Um, well, you'll see when you get the glittery stuff in there, whatever we decide to put. You got enough chambers, you can put anything in them. You can mix and match, put sequins, put glitter, put those little micro beads, which I don't own any, because to me, those are those are the devil. Um, <laughs> they remind me of, you know, that, that um, stuff that comes in beanbag chairs that you can never sweep up? Yeah, that's what, how they remind me. All right, I'm gonna trim off the excess paper right here. Now we can fill our little chambers. Well, let's see here. What am I gonna fill these with? Let me see what variety I have of sequins. I have lots of Catherine Cooler ones, and there's lots of variety of color in those, so I think those are the ones I'll snag. And I've got my little these ones need one of my trays all right I've got a triangle tray here that'll work fine start in with Kyoto's oh that's a good idea and I think I want to kind of sort these rainbow order. So with the Kyoto's, where'd my little thing go? I'm just going to pick out just a couple in each one. These are pretty tiny little spaces, so you don't want any more than two in there. I think 
I'll go with the blue. And I'll need a lighter blue. So let's put these back and see if I've got a lighter blue. Let's pour out the Cincinnati and see what we've got. Yep, I have a turquoise, just perfect. Okay, anything more in the Cincinnati I can use? No. Let me put the right lids back on so I can figure out. Uh, Soda Springs, this is my favorite set. It's got stars in it. I love stars. Oh, cool, Jim. Okay. A little yellow flower. A little yellow flower. Uh, what else we got? There's no purple in any of these. Let's see if I have any purple over here. Need purple. Okay, wait a second. I think I think I found some purple. Yes, I did. They're big though. They're big and they're really flat. That'll be okay. It won't fit in these other ones, but it'll fit in those. Uh, maybe I'll do a little white star. A white star. Oh, here's some beads. I think that bead. No, I don't. I think that's going to be too tall for beads. Do one of these tiny turquoise in this one, tiny turquoise in this one. Okay. <sighs> Pour the soda stir springs back. Get into the Santa Fe. Here we've got some green. turned over on me, turned the right way. Oh, that one has a little sneaker inside. There we go. Hi, Audrey. Okay, and then I've got different Tiny turquoise can go in these. Get in there. This is going to be quite the variety of sequins going on. Where did my sequin go? Oh, you dropped over there, Christy. And I'm going to the other turquoise. Right there. Yeah, I think I will end up putting a little bit of glitter in each one of these, too. Okay. What have I got here? Some gold. I think I'll just put some of these in my hand and pick them out. Let me 
I need something more in this color. So I have these sort of blackish looking ones. They're kind of a dark opal. Alright. Okay, I think we're good for sequins. Oh, my eye can barely see. Uh, and I've got this. Simon says stamps confetti. Let me pour these back to where they belong. I'll just pour some into this little tray. Just tap a little out, just a tiny bit. Well, I'm gonna get it everywhere. That's just the nature of glitter. This is a thicker or, you know, a more larger glitter. Okay, so an idea. I'm gonna take one of my flat brushes and just brush, brush off the excess. I mean, we're going all out, all out bling tonight. Ah, let's try not to dump the whole doggone thing over. All right, now I'm gonna get my double-sided sticky tape. Where'd you go? Right here. Yeah, that's exactly it, Cordelia. Carefully lay down my tape. I don't want it hanging over the edge. I probably should get some skinnier tape. Yep, I think I'm going to. <laughs> that one's just a little too wide. That's better. Easier to aim. That's okay, if it hangs off the edges, I'll clean that up later. Okay, now I'm going to carefully pull those up and go the other way and then get the edges. Try not to get glitter in my eyes. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just a, I just decided, Jim, that was too, too, um, it was too wide. I don't want it hanging over at any point. It's probably fits just perfect, but I'm not that good of a name. Okay, let me just get that clean out of my face. So you don't have to go through all this. I just decided I wanted to, just to add some variety. 
I know some people who would love getting this card because they love all things because her favorite color is glitter. Rainbow and unicorns. <laughs> oh yeah, you could, Jen. That's a great idea. Great idea. And I am getting glitter messy. Step down all the way. Let's start it from this end. Almost there. Now we just have to do all the edges. Oh, come on. And for that, I have this scrapbook.com really skinny, skinny stuff that I can never find the end to. There it is. Fold those up so I don't get stuck to the table. I plan on trimming it all off, so once I've got my acetate down, Ah, oh, crap. Look what happened. See? So much for that idea. That, may, that just means I'm going to have to probably use some glue. Uh. Hey, Nancy. At least I didn't use the S word. This is the risky take. Probably should have put this on before I even laid down my glitter and stuff. It'll be fine. I'm not going to stress over it. I don't feel like stressing. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> I mean, as a normal person, that's, that's, the S word is mild to me, but um, not in public. I, uh, my mama taught me better than that. Let me get these big pieces off of here if I can. <sighs> Only during a live. Cut off of there. Try and get them back in their little holes or somebody's hole. The little ones I'm not going to sweat. If I keep bouncing them back in though. Oh, is that everybody? Come on, be stubborn, there you go. Go home. Almost got it, ah, do not. Yeah, I should have put this down, okay. Lesson learned, put this stuff down first, then put in your glitter. I don't know, it's the peeling off part that's getting me into trouble anyway. And my fingers sticking to the places where I'm trying to hold on. All right, one more little bit. And we'll get the acetate down and call it a day. That's okay. If any of that sticks up, I don't care. Tape is sticky. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Oh, 
This could be the reason why nobody will in this world will ever want to try and make this card or they'll be just perfectly happy with using glue. All right, where is my acetate? Let me just get some acetate on that and be done with it. It's all going to be covered anyway. Oh, right, Jim. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so what that's going to be covered with is I cut myself a gold piece. Where did it go? <sighs> I said I was prepared here, and I know I was. But now I can't find, oh, it's over here. So see, you'll never see what a freaking mess I made, right? <laughs> but first, I'm gonna cut off the excess, all the excess tape and acetate. I got glitter everywhere. my scissors after this. Okay. Yeah, if I wasn't sweating before I am now, sweating from embarrassment. <laughs> so I put this tape on this one too. So I'm going to place it down the same way I did the other ones. This time I just kind of have to eyeball. And see a little bit of glue came through right there. Now you know why I don't like using glue on this paper. Now this will wipe off and I'm not worried about it because it, um, let me just get it wiped off while it's wet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I bet not with the fan. I wouldn't have a fan in here, but yeah. It's too, besides that, it's kind of noisy for video. Okay, that's on top. Okay, now let's get a dry paper towel and wipe that off. And so we've got the main component to our shaker. I want to just make sure I clean up any excess hanging out around the edges. And we're going to put that on a card base. Oh man. I know I'm going to get glitter in my eye. <laughs> That's just the nature of my life. And I'm going to put it on a black card base. Am I still alive? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to glue this. Try and get all the excess glitter off. So I saved all the little gold pieces that I cut out of this one and they can go inside there if I want to. Or I cut out the black ones. I have a bunch of black ones and they already have sticky on them. Try and get that excess glitter off. Just lay this down on here. This glue takes hold pretty fast, but 
And then I want to find a sentiment to put on it. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use Simon's after every storm comes a rainbow. Thank you, Mama Bear. Yes, Frida, that is die cut. Hi, Shay. Hi, Mama Bear. Since Simon had his release today, we'll do, we'll use one of his stamps here. And I am going to stamp that down on black cardstock and white heat emboss it. And oh boy, you guys, I'm terrible at white heat embossing. So, <laughs> oh gosh, Nancy, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh shoot, wait a minute. Who is this? This is Cincinnati. They're not going to mix it up. Well, you could have told them. I would have told them yes, but I bought I bought the owl set and I bought the mermaid maker um, stencil and I bought the I bought some more um, stark uh, stark white because um, I only got have about three or four sheets left of that stuff. Okay, let's just move this out of the way a second. And I still have a little goober right there. I don't want it on there. Let's get this all polished up. Is it gleaming in your eyes? Okay. All right. I'm going to get out my mini misty. Hi, Marianne. Oh, yes, man, fishing takes priority, Nancy. <laughs> it does. And a piece of black card. Should make that fit in there a little bit. I would do gold, but it just doesn't show up very well. Oh, you know, Marianne, people are nice here. Honestly, I love this crew. Okay, let me find some white. Super fine. Oh, that halo stuff's pretty, but it's not what I'm looking for. Okay, I've got some wow. And then... Okay, noise here. I'm going to be turning on my heat gun. Needs to get warmed up. Okay. I've got my distress embossing in here. And I've got dirt on my stamp. I can't have that. Oh, Lord. I think I have glitter all over my stamp, guys. We're going to find out here in a second. Nope, it'll be fine. Fine. 
Nope. That did not work. I don't know what happened here. That's really weird. Maybe this embossing ink is no bueno. Just flip it over. That's why I made the piece big. I think what I think has happened is I've gotten glitter on my stamp. All right. Let's try this again. This is not my day. Okay, it looks like it's clean now, best I can tell. And we'll just use the, um, I'll use my regular Versamark. Where'd my little buddy go? No. <sighs> Seriously, I glitter everywhere. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you know, we're all just actual people. Some of us are just famous. <laughs> and some of us are just hobbyists who decide to share our hobby. Now I am on a couple of design teams. Um, I am on the Technique Junkies design team. And I am on a little Australian company called, um, okay, Art Stacks. I knew I'd get that spit out eventually. Now that doesn't seem to show up at all. Try another. And I use uh, mostly the digitals from Artstack. She does sell physical pads of paper with various kinds of paper, including printed tissue paper. But, um, you know, because of the shipping constraints in certain parts of Australia, it's just easier on them and easier on me if I just download the printables and do demos with those. All right, let's try this again. Let's see what happened. I didn't want to blow over here because of all the glitter everywhere. I must have bad embossing powder. That's the only thing I can figure out because it's just not, it's not flowing for me. You see that? It's like, okay. Remember, Nancy, you had some bad embossing powder? Or was it bad? No, you had some bad foil. I think I've got some bad embossing powder. I'm going to try a different embossing powder because I can't fail this much. Oh, it could be my black paper. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I think. Um, yeah, like it's soaking it in too fast. All right. Plan B. We're going to go to plan B, folks. We're going to die cut. Here I've got this Catherine Puller Thanks die. And do I want that to be black? I'm not sure I do. I don't want it to be gold though, because then it won't. Oh, decisions, decisions. That's right, you had bad black foil. I probably got bad black paper. I don't want to do it in black. I just don't feel like, even though you saw me do all that stuff in black that's sitting in the background, I just don't feel like black is right for this. Okay, we'll do rainbow. We'll do rainbow. I had another rainbow cut out here. And I've already got sticky on this, so we're, we're in good shape. All right, we'll take it. We will take it. 
Where's my mint tape? Oh, that's a good idea. I think I'm going to go with the rainbow on there. I'm going to stick with the rainbow. Rainbows. You're the one that got me started on rainbows in the first place, Nancy. <laughs> Since this is watercolor paper, I'm going to go twice. And it's got sticky back. All right. it when that happens like when you do small stuff this sticky stuff wants to peel off before you're ready for it to peel off I just need to go back to bed that's all just put me right back to bed all right we're almost there Oh, Ranger just said I'm what makes them great. <laughs> I do buy all my Simon Hurley inks from Ranger. I do have an affiliate link. Um, I haven't made any money yet, but that doesn't really show up very good. Okay. I know. Anybody an American Horror, horror Story fan? <laughs> yeah, I love AHS, AHS, AHS. I don't watch it anymore because I don't have Hulu. And I don't think they made any more episodes. Let's take a look at what this might look like. Well, guys, I am completely stuck. I don't like this either. Oh yeah, I've got gold paper. I just don't feel like gold is gonna. Oh, I could do a gold across. I don't want to though, cause it's just, I don't know. I just don't want to cover my, I don't want to cover my rainbow. So you know what? We're not going to. I'm going to maybe, I mean, I'll think about it. I'm thinking maybe a couple of sentiment type strips along here. But I really kind of like it plain. I don't know why. So, thanks offset in gold paper. Make my with black and then do my white heat embossing again. Um, okay, let's try it. You mean with the Catherine Polar black? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, fine. It's going to take a long time to, to dry. You can see I need a re-inker for my Catherine Puller black. That I don't have. Now my sentiment's not that big. All right. Yeah, I think I'll use my heat tool. I'm gonna pull it over here though, cause I don't wanna blow that glitter everywhere. <laughs> oh, I just bought a bunch of Catherine. I bought the whole apothecary set, which I absolutely love. And then I bought two sets of minis. And I did buy the re-inkers for my date night set and my and the apothecary set.
All right. Let's try that stamp again. See if I have any better luck with it. Because, yeah, I just wanted something small on there. Okay, where'd my doodad go? And I just, I just bought a whole new Versa Mark pad and set because my pad is, oh my God, Nancy, look away. <laughs> my pad. Hi, Regina. <laughs> what not to do while crafting? <laughs> well, thank you, Jim, <laughs> for that vote of confidence. <laughs> no, I forgot to do my doodad. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to fit this on here. And I'm going to have to go back in and make sure that there's no stinking glitter on here. Again. That's what not to do is fill your glitter everywhere. When you're trying to be cool and you're just blowing it. You're just uncool. You're just a nerd. You're just a geek. Hi, Chow. <laughs> I'm goofing off over here. I know there's powder in here. Come out. <laughs> I just get glitter. Doesn't seem to want to... You know what? I'm just going to use my flat bag here. You know what? And let's just give that a little test. Where'd I put the embossing powder? Right here. It'll do. It'll do. I'm getting tired. Running out of time. Mike's supposed to be making me steak tonight. I'm not a big steak eater, but I will eat a filet mignon. She has a big head. Well, that's not a bad thing. That fits a big brain. out a lot better. Let's see how it melts. Melting it away from the glitter. Oh yeah, that's much better. Thank you, Nancy, for the suggestion. It's still trying to sink in a little bit, but not like it was. Not like it was. And a little brush here that I like to brush off all the excess powdery residue. And let's go ahead and just cut that out. <laughs> Still trying to get used to these scissors. See, I'm still not, mm -mm, I don't feel it. Not feeling it. Maybe like that. Yeah. Oh no, guys. Oh. 
Yeah, I think diagonal too, because it just has less of a chance of taking away from the, let me just round this up. My eyes stopped seeing very good because I have a, yeah, my eyes get impacted by my allergies too. Uh-huh. Let's make that a little bit prettier in our cut. We can do that. Round that up a little. Get this a little more straight. Uh, we'll do the mo haircut. <laughs> I think I'll pop it up. Pop it up and we'll be done. I can find my foam tapes. Here they are. Oh, you're going to be in Alabama in the morning? What movie was I watching? Oh, yeah, I was watching Ozark, and they were playing an old song that some of us old people would probably remember. It was a Glenn Campbell song called Wichita Lineman. And I started thinking about songs that, you know, go with states. And the only one comes to mind with Alabama, and it's stupid, you know. Oh, I come from Alabama with the banjo on my knee. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, you guys. <laughs> oh, God. Well, oh, that's right, Meg. Sweet home, Alabama. Okay. Okay happy with that. I can, I can live with that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so we have a compartmental shaker here that even though you saw a huge disaster, still came out pretty cool. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Stick a fork in me, man. I'm done. <laughs> hey, you guys have a good night. Thanks for coming. Um, if you liked this video or you thought it was hilarious or you learned a lot what not to do, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed, hit that subscription button. And if you want to be notified when I come live, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Um, Nancy, if you want to drop your Catherine Puller links, happy to have it. Because this, uh, this thingy, the die, wherever I put it, came from Catherine Puller. And then the Simon Hurley, um, I buy all of my um, all of my Ranger inks directly from Ranger because you get points, and I like points. Points are good. <laughs> all right, everybody, <laughs> have a good one. Uh.